Hello viewers, this is Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. I wanted to introduce something a little bit new, although I have been doing a little bit of this on YouTube, where I look at spiritual kind of philosophy, um, uh, esoteric themes. Um, now, I should say that, you know, going back from early childhood, um, I've been drawn to spiritual spirituality um, and I, I've pursued spirituality uh, most of my life. I'm uh, an avid reader and researcher and uh, and and I I've read on all sorts of spiritual matters um, and I've also experienced uh, a lot of spiritual phenomenon and um, obviously I wouldn't be sitting here uh, uh, I guess today if 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 I hadn't but in all the knowledge that I've channeled into uh, and and gained over the years one of the things that really strikes me is our spiritual blue blueprint and uh, I, I guess I want to look at what 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 does that mean and why is it tied to our purpose and how can we uh, understand our blueprint better um, and why is it important that we fulfill our blueprint I will do some rec card reading in this as well uh, but I also sort of want to, pre to present it more uh, as with a little bit of commentary so um, blueprint blueprint territory if we're in blueprint territory uh, we're actually talking about the agreement that we made before we came into this life um, it, it it's a covenant if you like between spirit and ourselves to uh, I guess have cer certain events situations meet certain people occur so that we can learn from them um, and uh, it's kind of the I mean when we talk about fate and destiny that can change because we we have free will but blueprint territory doesn't change it's it's actually the things that have already been preordained when and we've agreed to uh, as our life lessons so I guess blueprint uh, territory is best known as life lessons now when we're in blue blueprint territory we're in uh, our optimal time of learning um, often blueprint territory can actually be some sort of loss um, and it can be an event which has uh, a significant impact a life-changing event in other words um, and you know from that life-changing event our life does change and how we go forward uh, is how we master those lessons so um, sometimes purpose we might hear uh, divine purpose or fulfilling your purpose um, you might hear that that phrase associated with, with this um, uh, reference to blueprint our, our, our spiritual blueprint um, now I guess I uh, purpose is activated when when we are fulfilling what we uh, came here to do um, and I guess from my own personal experience, because everybody has their views, uh, everybody has their uh, religious freedom, and I personally believe that if you look hard enough, all religions or all spiritual beliefs, I won't say religions because sometimes religions can be the church, but all spiritual beliefs, regardless of what, you know, what, where they come from, uh, are mostly, uh, I'm talking about, um, you know, uh, I guess... Uh, I, you know, I, I guess I could say white light spiritual beliefs, uh, those that put uh, God and humanity uh, front and centre. If you dig hard enough, they, they all have the common themes running through them. So I don't, uh, I don't judge, I don't, I don't have any prejudice to any faith or, or religion. Um, I really don't or any spiritual belief um, because I think we're all the same. So my my uh, when I talk about blueprint territory, I'm talking about um, what what we've agreed uh, to do before we come into this life. So I do uh, have a, a faith in divine purpose, uh, and when things go wrong, uh, I do look to the lessons that I need to learn. And uh, I guess when I open open my life up to that flow, um, I really start to. I, I live with deeper meaning. Um, so um, I guess 
what we can ask the cards today in this first edition of the Spirit Files um, is, you know, why is it important to live, uh, to live with purpose? Why is it important to fulfil our, our blueprint, our divine spiritual blueprint? Um, yeah, what do we gain when we live with that purpose, when we connect with that purpose? Because I think we're, we all know and one way or another we're brought back to it um, again to learn the lessons and to do what we came here to do. So let's just have a, a look. Why is it important to live with uh, to live with purpose? Why is it important to fulfill our divine blueprint? What we came here to do. Okay, let's have a quick look. Well, it won't be quick. Why is it important to live with purpose? And why is it important? that we fulfill our spiritual blueprints. Okay, so we've always got options. That's what this card is saying. Uh, we come in uh, and, you know, we've got, we've, we come in with lessons to learn. Uh, life is about learning. Um, life is about the getting of wisdom. And the two, this brings this forth. We have always balancing balancing forces and we always have to make decisions that impact on ourselves and impact on others and I think what this card is saying is that when we bring purpose into our lives our decisions are going to be aligned with our with what we came here to do they're going to take us forward then they're not going to take us backward um, so I think this is very much the crossroad card when we're at the crossroads um, we have decisions to make which way are we going to go hmm. uh, and the king of swords you know again this is the uh, I guess it is it is being living within living with our truth stepping into our truth um, but it's also about being your own master okay so it's also about you know standing in your own power but at the same time that power is through connectedness to others so we when we're at the crossroads when we're living with our divine purpose we have we optimize our uh, I guess our capacity to be self-directed uh, and to move forward and fulfill what we came here to fulfill but we do it as as a I guess as a we empower ourselves and we empower ourselves through our connection to spirit and what does that lead to I think and this has come through really strongly for me in the last few days uh, it leads to joy um, and and I mean joy is I mean happiness can sometimes be fleeting but joy also has an element of appreciation to it so it's 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 like being able at the same time so it's like being happy but it's also appreciating the present moment um, and appreciating it with gratitude so gratitude comes forward uh, and and aligns with happiness and I think that's what happens when we live with purpose um, and just having a look at that deepening that a little bit um, the two of cauldrons again is this proposal so we looked at the two of swords being at the crossroads and being in you know blueprint territory we have decisions about how we're going to live in this lifetime and I think that's the proposal um, that's the covenant between ourselves and spirit but it's very much the covenant between other people as well I, I talk about this connectedness that we all have so when we're living in uh, blueprint you know we're, we're fulfilling our blueprint we're li living with with purpose we're also um, connecting with other people and we're also connecting with their with their purpose as well and I think we're all helping one another 
Um, I think that's how all of this works. Um, and just having a look at being our, the master of our destiny, being empowered. The Eight of Cauldrons is talking about, uh, it's, it's, it's talking about moving on, okay, from loss, okay, so where are we going, where are we, you know, and it's looking back at what we've got and it's moving on uh, and also, um, I guess, part of learning the lesson is to acknowledge the blessings we have. There's a wonderful saying by T.S. Eliot and it's, I shall, and it's actually one of my favourite sayings, and it's, I shall not cease from exploration until I arrive at the beginning again and know that place for the first time. And I think part of our lessons is recognising uh, and being grateful for what we have and who we have and being grateful for ourselves as well. And, you know, this joy and this happiness that I was talking about, this is divine inspiration, okay? This is the King of Wands comes forward as that, that, that bold leader. This is talking again, we're pulling kings in this reading. This is talking about empowerment and it's talking about stepping into your power. So when we live with purpose, when we're fulfilling our, when, when we're connecting with our blueprint, the reasons that we've come into this life, we are empowered um, and we're empowered to move forward. And what does empowerment mean? It means that you're not at the mercy of, of, people or events or life you're self-directed you've activated divine will and you are moving forward with purpose and with clarity and with inspiration and so when we're at the crossroads okay this is the shadow which is the card of the devil um and you know this is uh i guess don't ever be worried by the devil or the card. All it means, not all it means, it's quite a strong card, but it's talking about being chained to um, being chained to the negatives in life. So when we're in the crossroads, we've got this, you know, we've come here with this, this, uh, this proposal, we've accepted our blueprint, what we're here to, to do. When we're at the crossroads, when things occur in our lives and we're forced into our, that decision making about how we're going to go forward, it's very easy to uh, choose a path that of, uh, I guess, um, materialism, physicality. Uh, it's very easy not to um, think about the lessons uh, because we this they're not easy to find it, it actually takes hard work but it also takes opening oneself up and often there's fear and I think this is what this card is saying it's talking about the fear um, fear within us fear of wrong you know putting a wrong foot fear of getting hurt emotionally fear of expressing who we are who we really are Fear of making a change, fear of losing our long uh, long term security, uh, our 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 financial uh, security, for example. Um, you know, fear of not keeping up with uh, the next door neighbour. <laughs> you know, fear for our children, fear for you know. Th th this is the card of fear, and that uh, comes forward and can influence the decisions that we make, but. Again, when we step into our power, uh, what occurs or what we allow to occur is the potential for rebirth. Now, rebirth uh, is, can, you know, if, if we're, I mean, we're all on a quest, aren't we? We're all, we're all looking for something. We're all looking for meaning. We're all looking for purpose. When we make the decision to live with purpose, to follow our blueprint, to take those decisions which move us into a different pathway uh, and not more of the same, we open ourselves up for rebirth. And, you know, I could say that if you believe in reincarnation, um, that it also allows for us to learn the lessons in this lifetime and move toward a rebirth um, not having to repeat the same old mistakes. I mean, in lifetime, that's a pretty good, pretty good philosophy. You learn the lesson, you don't have to repeat the pain. 
And then finally, our final card, when we're living with joy and we're living with inspiration, we're also living with hope. So the star of hope comes forward. Uh, that is the, the light uh, that surrounds us. Uh, that's the light that guides us. And that's the light that leads to, to change and divine timing and I guess brings us again into our power. It fulfills us, it nourishes us, it moves us toward our highest potential. Um, and also, I want to stress this connectedness with other people. It moves us toward... Um, uh, it moves us toward doing good and making, making beneficial changes, bringing good to the world. Um, living in harmony uh, rather than living uh, with short-term gain um, and eventually negativity and then having to repeat the mistake and repeat the lesson um, it brings us into a state of joy uh, and gratitude and connectedness with others so that is quite a strong reading. I'm going to put this up on Patreon, Patreon and uh, give uh, my patrons access to it first. Eventually, once, uh, once everyone's listened to it, I'll put it on YouTube because I think it's an important reading. It's an important spiritual reading to bring forth. I'll do these spirit, what I call spirit files from time to time when I feel guided to do them um, and... Uh, we'll look at various uh, aspects of spirituality. Um, I'm very much, I live very much in tune with nature and uh, I, I do want to talk about that as well. I do want to talk about signs and uh, the importance of omens. Um, and, and again, signs and omens are simply uh, nature's way of speaking to us and guiding us. And it's this connectedness that we all have with every living thing. So on the, the card of hope, on the star, that light that surrounds us, that light that guides us forward, uh, that light that lights the way in the future, I'll finish this reading and I will just uh, acknowledge the, um, the spirit in us all and the spirit in you uh, and I will acknowledge and ex express gratitude to spirit for allowing me to... Um, to do this reading uh, and to bring forth these messages uh, for those that are listening to this video. Thank you and blessings for the day.